everybody it's lynn from subpar planning hope this finds you well today uh, welcome to my channel if you haven't seen any of my videos before um, this is a channel uh, mostly about planners not necessarily the decoration of or anything like that per se i just really like buying planners and i like stuffing them with things and i like making things for them uh, as opposed to doing like um spreads and things like that i'm just not very good at that part <laughs> so i try not to do stuff that i'm um, that I'm not very good at because usually they're just kind of boring and there's nothing fun about them. Um, so yeah, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, uh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. Um, I have not actually put up videos for quite some time now. It's probably been well over a year. Um, as everyone else has been dealing and struggling with, the pandemic definitely uh, made things a little more difficult for me to get things done. And I also started a new job, um, which is still in healthcare, but it's not with direct patient care. So it was, uh, it's been quite the transition for me. So with that being said, um, if you have followed me on this channel or if you've followed my Instagram, you will know that I am more of a mini happy planner kind of gal or a Filofax pocket kind of gal or maybe even a Filofax mini pocket, uh, mini planner kind of gal. I've always been enamored um, with small planners. I've always had a... Um, I've always had like a uh, an appreciation for planners that are small. However, with that being said, I have found that I have struggled uh, since I actually really started planning, which has basically been like maybe three years now. I've really struggled with planning, and I and I I, I th always thought it was just because well, you know, I'm I'm just too busy, and I just can't, you know I can't set aside the time to sit down and actually plan in the planner. But there was a part of me that always wondered if it was just because the planners were so small. Um, I have fairly large handwriting, and it's difficult for me to try to get everything I want in that little teeny tiny section. Um, so I was at Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago and I spotted an Agenda 52 planner and it was on clearance and it was, um, an A5 size. And I thought, you know what, why don't I just try that size and see how it goes? Maybe I'm just trying to go too small and maybe an A5 is what I need. I have used bigger planners like a notebook size planner and that is just too much for me but maybe the a5 will be a nice compromise i've also used personal size planners and i have found again that those are just a little too small for me so i'm hoping that the agenda 52 that i purchased the a5 size is actually going to work for me so with that being said um, i decided to purchase some extra a5 size planners in anticipation and in hopes that I will actually be using this size and kind of getting my feet wet with decorating and, and just making dashboards and things like that. So with that being said, I have purchased the Agenda 52 planner, which that video will be coming up soon. And I've also purchased a Filofax Centennial, one of their 100 uh, year anniversary planners in the A5 size as well. And that video will be coming up fairly soon. Uh, in the meantime, what I also purchased was I purchased this PVC clear trans, uh, transparent planner, and it's actually in rose gold. So it's got rose gold rings, which are not the biggest rings. They're kind of small um, with the rose gold popper. And I thought, you know what? This is going to give me a chance to express myself and have some fun with planning. And so this is what I purchased. These rings are fairly small. I would say... Um, Gosh, I don't even know. I couldn't even begin to tell, to guess the size of the rings, but they're definitely um, smaller than the Agenda 52s, and I would definitely say that they're probably smaller than the Filofax. So um, this is the one I purchased. I purchased this, off, purchased this off of Amazon, and I will try to put a link in the description block, block if you're box if you're interested um, but it's just a very nice little kind of soft plastic. Um, before I shot this video, I decided to just make a a5 like a dashboard page just so you could see inside what it looks like um the rings are actually really nice they're all lined up really well they're tight and it has a very satisfying click which i really appreciate and i did notice that these have phillips head screws in it so i believe i can take these off if i wanted to and change them out for bigger rings if i wanted to try to find some so i think i can actually change these out so i'm just going to put this a5 in here so you can see what it looks like Oh, very satisfying click and then once it's inside that's basically what it looks like and so again I'll have this to experiment and play around with and kind of just have some fun with and see how it goes and then take it from there so what I did was I just did a uh, piece of cardstock I cut it and cut it down lay, uh, put them together on both sides and then just punch hold it so you can actually see what this looks like with something inside of it. it's actually really pretty if anything this dashboard might be a little too long but who cares we will just trim it down the other thing that I did was I actually cut out two sheets from a dollar store mat 
uh, one side's slick, the other side's frosted. And you can see I had a little pen. I got to get some alcohol and, and clean that off. Um, but I put that in here to try to give this a little bit more of a, a little more stability, if you will. And again, I'm just going to pop that open. They're very satisfying. They're very satisfying pops. I like that. I'll go transparent out. And then my little dashboard thingy. And then we'll do... There we go. Very satisfying. Satisfying pop. So, I, you know, I think once this fills up with pages, this probably won't be as bad. Um, but again, you know, I thought this was really nice. This is... Gosh, I can't remember how much this cost. I don't know. I can't remember. But I bought it a couple weeks ago. Well, I bought it two weeks ago, basically three days after or four days after I bought the Agenda 52 because I thought, you know what, this might be the size that it's going to work for me. So we'll see how it goes. But again, I just kind of wanted to show you that. And um, I'll also show you what else I purchased from Joanne, which is actually really pretty. I kind of already have gone through it because I was just very intrigued by it. Uh, but what I purchased was from Park Lane. This was on sale. It's an accessory kit. And it comes with 63 pieces. And it's actually supposed to work with their with their Park Lane Planner, which is a disc bound system, very similar to Happy Planner. Now, I don't know if these things fit in the Happy Planner. I didn't actually try it. I haven't really checked it out. Um, but I was looking at it in terms of cutting these things down to fit the A size five, the A5 size planner that I have, which is what I'm going to do. But I know that there's probably been some unboxings of these on YouTube, but um, I just wanted to throw this on here as well, just because it's something that's kind of cool to me. So it comes with a ton of stuff. This is the backing board that actually came with it. So it shows you it's got some planner clips, a planner clip mark, uh, bookmark, some post-it notes, some gold foil tabs, um, more stickers and things like that, which is, you know, again, it's a very, it's a really nice little setup. And for the price it was at, I think it was, um, I think normally it's like, I don't know, like maybe $20 or like $19, but because all of the Park Lane products were on sale the week that I got it, I think I got it for 50% off when I purchased it. So I actually got it for pretty cheap. At least I think so. So one of the things that comes with right now that I'm just, I'm, I'm totally enamored by are these, um, sun and star uh, or these moon and star clips i i just i i mean i think alone i would have been happy just to get these so i think those are actually really adorable and then this is the planner clip that it comes with this is actually really cute it um has a little ribbon a little tassel the tassel says keep going and then this will actually fit in a planner and the cool thing is that this actually has like little constellations you can't really see it but it's like little purpley constellations um, or little purple star designs kind of like on the actual um, bookmark. It also comes with these tabbed pages, which are actually really cool. So it's a to-do list. And then if you flip it on the back side, it's just a notepad. Um, the great thing about this, though, is that I can actually cover this with washi and then punch it. And then I should be able to trim it down a little bit and I can fit it actually in my A5 planner. And that actually fits complete. So I don't actually really even have to trim it down, which I think is kind of cool. It also comes with this little nifty um, planner pouch, which is kind of cute. Um, it's a very rough kind of canvasy. It's kind of almost like a, it's kind of like a canvasy kind of pouch, which is actually pretty cool. So this is actually a lot of fun. And if you're a creative type or if you're a sewer, um, you can certainly flip this inside out and, um, you know, put a liner in if you choose to. I'm thinking that I might actually do that. I mean, I'm not that much of a sewer, but I think I can figure this out and um, put a liner in here to kind of keep this clean and to kind of help keep that edge down. But I think that looks, it's a great little planner pouch, I think. And it's cute because it's got this constellations or star images on it, which seems to be kind of a big thing right now. Um, I noticed that Michael's has a lot of their, um, they have a certain special set of agendas or planners with the constellation and horoscopes. I actually bought one last year and I absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, I didn't use it to its full potential. So it's basically just been sitting in a heap of, um, just basically been sitting in a heap. So other things that came with this planner are actually pretty cool are these thin pocket pages. And again, this will fit in my A5, which is actually kind of cool. Um, all I need to do is just trim it down and trim it down and punch it. And now I'm going to have some pretty cool, um, planner pockets. It's kind of weird to me that it's on the inside, but I guess maybe they were thinking of this, making this more of like a dashboard, and then you have your stuff in there. So when you put it in your disc bound, it's like that. Um, but again, I'm gonna trim those down and turn them into pockets. So I'm pretty excited about that. And the same thing with these dash, uh, with these um, 
tabbed dividers. What I like about them is not only are they tabbed, but they're also um, double-sided, which is fantastic. And again, you know, they're just really pretty and it's just a great way to, you know, you can use these for like a dream notebook. Um, some people like to put dream notebooks together and keep them by the bedside so that if you have a dream and you wake up and you want to remember what it is, uh, you can jot down what it was. And again, same thing with this. This is great. I can cover this with washi tape, three hole punch it and trim it down. Um, it does say notes and that'll be a little off center, but honestly it won't really matter if it's just going to be for scraps. These are the gold tabs that they have to put on those divider pages. It comes with a couple of sets of stickers, which I think is actually really cool. They can go with you. They can go into your planner and decorate. Pretty. And then they have these really kind of cool ones. They look kind of look like the sun. Constellation kind of things. That's really pretty. And then it comes with a sheet of alphabet stickers, which is pretty cool. If you want to decorate your tabs with, you can. Some washi strips, which are cool, which are really nice. Some more foiled um, flag pages and things like that. A really cool Constellation sticker sheet. Um, unfortunately, I don't really know if these are actual representations of true Constellations or not. I couldn't tell you. Um, I mean, that looks like the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, but I mean, I'm not sure about the rest of them. And then again, we have our double-sided pocket, which is actually really cool. And again, this is pretty thin, so I might be able to trim it at the top a little bit and trim it at the bottom, put some washi tape on it, three-hole punch it, and be able to use this as some sort of a um, pocket to hold paperwork or things like that, you know, stickers and stuff. And then this is the... Um, stick it notes the post-it notes and again i don't really know how good these are i always find that off-brand post-it notes are usually kind of sketchy to me but this is actually impressive because this is where the sticky stops so that's actually a pretty wide like the the post-it stick or the sticky the sticky part of the the sheet is goes to here that's a fairly robust um yeah, that's a fairly robust post-it note. Um, I'm kind of surprised. It's not a narrow strip like they usually are. So that's actually a pretty thick strip. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it comes with a little sheet. And again, it's punched. I don't know if you can see that. But it is punched to fit into like a mini happy planner or a disc, a, in some sort of a disc mount system. Again, I don't know if these line up with like the happy planner's spacing. Um, let me see what I've got. So this is the mini, which I just love. Um, so it does line up. It doesn't hit the. It doesn't hit the uh, thing. So let's check the other stuff. Now the spacing of this particular planner might be different compared to more of a full size, like the classic or anything like that. But it looks like it's. Looks like Park Lane decided to line all their stuff up with the Happy Planner because it looks like it fits pretty good. Actually, that's kind of cute with those gold discs. So I myself have not really had a lot of experience with the Park Lane's um, with Park Lane's own planner set, their own planner setup. Um, I have seen them at the store, but I haven't purchased one. Main reason being is because I'm going to try to go with A5. I really think that this is going to speak to me in terms of being able to use it. I think I'm going to get some more use out of this type of a planner. I just think it's a little more in line with what I'm used to um, having been having grown up with like, you know, planners and things like that. Um, so yeah, uh, that is it. And again, I'll be posting some other videos of the Agenda 52 and then the unboxing of the Filofax Centennial, which, um, I can't wait because it looks like it's really pretty. So, um, I'll be opening it and showing it to you for the, for, I'll be opening it for the first time on camera. So everything that I say will be, um, basically how I was, how I'm experiencing, it, which is kind of cool. Um, so anyways, I hope this finds you well. Thank you for watching. I hope everything's going well where you are and I hope you're staying safe. And remember, you are loved, you are wanted, and you deserve to be here. And um, I will talk to you soon, okay? Deuces. Bye.